lingering on the negative. So many times I've sat in and observed team leaders and members of management giving feedback and they will say the problem at least three or four times in three or four different ways. This isn't helping the person get the clarity that they need. Because we're lingering on the negative, it starts to build up a negative feeling in the individual. To be honest, people only need to hear it once. People know they've done something wrong, highlight the situation, and not necessarily there's something wrong, it's a learning experience, and then focus on moving it forward. Use the cards that you've got in your deck. Go to the O for options section. Start looking for new ways to move it forward and you get and get your coachee to come up with new solutions that are potentially going to make this even stronger for next time. Everyone's talking about resilience. This comes to mind now. Everyone wants you to be more resilient. But in truth, resilience is just the art of springing back to where you were before a situation happened. What you need to be able to do is actually spring back to that position and grow from it. Like the coaching model says, to be able to set a new objective, get clear on where you have been that made the error, and come up with new options that are going to push you forward and become even stronger as a result of that situation happening. Use things like appreciative inquiry. Use language that positively supports that individual in nurturing their thinking, their understanding, and what they can possibly do with that in the future. And help them to keep that thinking, help them to find the positives in what they're doing so that they can continue to grow themselves even when you're not their leader and even when you're not around.